why don't you and me get right down on our knees right now? How's that strike you? Where? Right here! 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 Right now! Why not? Why not? I've prayed in the streets. I've prayed in the saloons. I've prayed in the toilets. It don't matter where, so long as he gets that prayer! Midnight Cowboy is the only X-rated movie ever to win an Academy Award for Best Picture. Of course, it's not a porno movie. It's not even as raunchy as Fellini's Eight and a Half, and it's tame compared to what you would see on cable television these days. It is in many ways a bleak, even despairing picture, but it also has a lot of exuberance and a certain kind of unlikely charm. The two basic items necessary to sustain life are sunshine and coconut milk. Do you know that? That's a fact. John Voight plays Joe Buck, a naive hayseed who comes north from Texas to the big city with dreams of being a high-class gigolo and turns out to be one of the most incompetent hustlers in history. Listen, I have to take a taxi. I need a few bucks. I hate to ask you, but you're such a doll. You know, Cass, that's a funny thing, you mentioning money. Because I was just about to ask you for some. He ends up footloose and down on his luck in the shabby, scuzzy world of Times Square in the bad old days. And there he runs into a tubercular, broken-down con man named Ratso Rizzo, played by Dustin Hoffman. Hey, I'm walking here! I'm walking here! John Voight and Dustin Hoffman were at breakout moments in their careers in the late 1960s. And in this movie, they make a wonderfully memorable pair. Now, Midnight Cowboy is a very entertaining period piece. It offers a time capsule view of Manhattan in a very different era. And it also is a showcase of some of the filmmaking styles of the late 1960s. The director, John Schlesinger, an Englishman, came to New York with a keen eye and a sharp curiosity. And he was also able to show just how swinging, how cool, how now a movie could be. But this movie holds up because it explores a deep and universal theme, one that goes back to the epic of Gilgamesh, to the Iliad, to Huckleberry Finn. It's a story, a heroic story, of male friendship, in which the hero, helped by his friend, reaches a new level of maturity and wisdom. Mm -hmm.